Good morning. My name is Hannah, and today I will be presenting over the Black Spear Project. Today's presentation is entitled Developing Postsecondary Teaching Resources for Shakespeare Scholar. But before I introduce myself anymore, I want to give you a little bit more of information and a brief glimpse into the project itself. So the project is an open access educational resource formatted as a teacher's guide. The image that's on the left and in the middle of the screen is the title page of the project. Uh, the project is hosted in Pressbooks, uh, is titled Black Spear, and the subtitle is a ped pedagogical tool for teaching Shakespeare's Black afterlives. And the cover has an image of James Baldwin standing next to a reclining statue of William Shakespeare. Now on the right hand of the screen is a just a snippet of the table of contents within this project. You can see it compo it's composed of example syllabi as well as example assignments. Um, my team is also working on developing an example readings section, which would be directly linked to the institution's library so that educators could have access not only to example syllabi of how they can teach a class on Shakespeare and race, uh, but also example assignments to assign in their own courses or to modify, um, and sample readings that they could provide for their class to read on this topic. So to introduce a little bit more about the project and myself, uh, I am the project team leader, Hannah Elizabeth Bowling, uh, pronouns she, her, hers. I am a doctoral candidate at Texas A&M. My supervising faculty member for this project is uh, Sarah Lemire. She's an associate professor in the English department. And she is also a member of my dissertation committee. The project team is comprised of three students. Mackenzie Morrison is a master's student in English from Abilene Christian University. We also have Charlie Gopal, who is a senior in psychology at Texas A&M, and Sydney Middleton, who is a sophomore in psychology at A&M. And I also want to briefly mention my collaborators. So the project team are the folks who actually work with me on uploading, organizing, and digitizing all of the different materials for the teacher's guide. My collaborators, which include Annika Snyder, who's a doctoral candidate, Dr. Nicole Hagstrom-Schmidt, and Dr. Kathy Tarabi, all of the TAMU English department, are the folks who have actively contributed to the project by submitting teaching materials to be open access. Um, and so I wanna thank them for allowing for sh allowing me to share their work with the world. So giving a little bit of background about the project, the project originally began in June of 2022. As a woman of color at a predominantly white institution and an early career scholar and educator, I felt really intimidated about the idea of teaching students in my particular research area. Now, my research area is Black Shakespearean adaptations or afterlives, as I prefer to call them. And I'm particularly interested in pre-modern to post-modern race construction. So I did what many educators do when they don't know where to go and took to the internet to see if I could find any teaching resources. Now in 2022, there really weren't a whole lot of resources available. They were mostly for primary and secondary level students very few were actually geared towards adult learners. And the resources that did exist fell into one of two camps. Uh, take, for example, the Folger Shakespeare's library and uh, all of the different materials that they have. They are primarily, their focus is primarily on preservation and perpetuation of Shakespearean texts. So educational materials were not so much the focus as was the cultural continuation of Shakespeare on a national and global scale. Uh, another, uh, an example from the opposite camp would be wiki educators methodology. Their approach is more towards making educational materials of all kinds accessible online. And Shakespeare just happened to be one of the authors that their materials addressed. So I decided I needed to intervene within this gap in scholarship. So, my project is fundamentally based on an open pedagogy, uh, on open pedagogy. Critical open pedagogy, for those who are not as familiar, 
with it are it is a subset of open education theory and essentially the idea is that students are co-collaborators and co-creators of knowledge within the classroom just as students learn from their teachers so too can teachers learn from their students and so the power dynamics are shifted such that you have almost unilateral dismantling of power and sharing of power. So to overview, my methodology really focuses on providing resources for educators right now for Shakespearean scholars, but hopefully in the future for any scholars who are interested in teaching about race and happen to particularly be interested in race and Shakespeare and how these two ideas converse with each other. Um, by teaching students about critical inquiry and textual analysis. And they learn these skills through the readings and discussions of race in Shakespeare and his Black Afterlives, which departs from Wiki Educator and the Folger because my approach assumes information that they are trying to make explicit. So both Wiki Educator and the Folger start from the position that they need to convince people that Shakespeare has a lot to say on race. My project starts with Shakespeare does have a lot to say on race. We know that. More importantly, what does he have to say on race? And what do those who adapt him have to say about race themselves? So the stage of development that I'm in right now is I'm squarely in the middle of phase one. My team and I is working on publishing the teacher's guide in June, 2024. And we are also looking towards development of phase two, which would be a st companion student anthology that I would hopefully create with my class of uh, students in the fall, as well as the spring. This piece would be not only the primary readings themselves, the Black Shakespearean afterlives or Black Spears, um, but it would also include secondary resources such as texts authored by Black uh, artists and philosophers and thinkers and any other newspaper or magazine articles, films, um, tweets, whatever helps elucidate this experience for my students. And so what I would really appreciate now is um, if you guys could give me feedback on how and what to revise to generate a more expansive second edition of the teacher's guide, as well as any experiential wisdom, cautions, or encouragements on co-authoring an anthology with undergraduate students. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.